Hello there and welcome to Adicraft. Today I'm going to be showing you how to build this fantastic realistic windmill in your world. So don't go anywhere and let's get on with the video. Before we start building, uh, the world download for this world and which also includes my uh, ultimate survival base which is just down there uh, will be available in my discord for members of that and uh, also if you are new to the channel make sure that you do hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos and now let's get on with building this is the list of materials you'll need to build this including the interior taken from the finished build so pause the video if you want to take these down we're going to start with the layout of the build and that is an octagon so we've got five long for the sides and then diagonally we've got three in uh, and then on the fourth block you start the other side uh, choose which side you want to be the front and leave a gap there and then also you can choose whatever flooring but i've chosen the spruce planks here what we're going to do first and foremost is we're going to build the walls up um, with the exception of the doorway uh, to three four high in total and at this point you can use a mixture of the stone and the mossy cobblestone to add some texture or you can do all the brick all the building with the cobblestone and finish that off um, however you like but yeah just go around the entire shape uh, four high with your your blocks and then add your texture once you've got your basic shape then you come round to the bottom and then on each of the blocks you come out one further block so that you've got a solid foundation round uh, as you can see i haven't yet textured mine i'm going to do all the blocks and then i'll add the texture afterwards but if you want to texture as you go that's absolutely fine uh, generally the mossy stone is going to be more towards the bottom of the build so you can have that mixed in any way that you like uh, but generally that's how you'd expect it to be when you get to the sides as well then the block above this bottom layer and the block above that we're going to pop out because those are going to be the windows and then we're going to place an upside down spruce stair in there so that that, that hole is going to be the window and just finish texturing up all sides of the build when your texture's all been added to the build come into the doorway and add an upside down stair and then we're going to use a warped door to get into the build and then in here for the middle block so where we've got this middle block we're going to be using two spruce trapdoors on each of the sides to cover that and then in each of the windows we're just going to fill it in with glass and do that all the way around the build next we're going to add some fences and a walkway above that and i'll show you on one side and then you just repeat this on all four sides so come on either side of the doors or the window and create two uh, fences and then one out from the side here uh, so we're going to be doing that then above that we're going to place one uh, spruce plank uh, spruce slab even and one spruce stair so we've got that upside down stair shape and those are the top uh, and then we are going to fill this side in to two deep now on the other side we're going to come out three and then what we're going to do is again with some uh, some fences come up on both of the sides of this and then out towards the corner and what we're going to do with this is then place the upside down stair like so and do the same on the other side with an upside down stair and then we fill this in as well with the slabs but we come out a further block because of the way the fences connect up we need to come out three blocks on this so it's going to come right the way round like this all the way around um, so when you count out one two three one two three and then two on the flat sides and just do that all the way around now at the bottom of the build i've used full blocks here but if you did want you could use you could choose to use stairs or you could choose to mix it up um, so that you have a combination of both of them depending on whichever pattern you prefer once you've completed that all the way around then we come into the center and we just bring in a floor right the way across so just fill the floor in leaving just this hole in the middle when you get here when you've got your floors in place we're simply going to surround the entire structure with some birch fences 
and that goes right the way outside here all around the edge. Take your black stone blocks, find where your front of the build is and again leaving a gap we come just in behind this stone section uh, and we build this up at five high in total uh, leaving again a three gap for the door on this side so we've got one two three four and then five and we bring that all the way around just inside this with all the walls in place we're going to again knock out two high holes for each of the windows in the side that isn't the doorway here so you've got one block beneath and two blocks above and then we are going to come up and add in the floor for the next level again using the top slabs but leaving the hole through the middle once the floor's done we come in again onto the first level of the spruce slabs and we bring this all the way around this is going to be where it starts to taper in and we bring this up three four five high all the way around when those walls are done again as before we knock out the two high windows in each of the sides there's no doorway on this side so you, uh, on this floor and then we put in the floor but this time slightly different we are going to bring a set of the black stone all the way around first before we start with the spruce slabs and then leaving the gap for the middle we just fill in the rest with the spruce slabs now that floor's in place we come up the next level of walls and we're going to start by coming in at the corners and then diagonally out from that we're going to go three uh, and this is why we needed the extra layer of blackstone so that we didn't see the spruce through and that comes all the way around and this time whereas we'd gone up a total of five before this one we go up a total of six so we've got one two three four five six all the way around when you've got those walls in place again you come up one and then knock out a two high hole on each side for a window and then when you've done that we're going to do something a little bit different up the top we're going to get some blackstone and fill in these corner bits so they come out a bit further do that all the way around just on this sixth layer and then we're going to take some birch planks and go one two three on each of the sides and fill in in between with some birch slabs now the main shape of the windmill is in place then now is the, the best point to add a bit of texture so the blocks that I'm going to be using for this are some basalt blocks so you can just come in and place these uh, generally with the uh, the texture going upwards rather than outwards just that you can experiment and use it however you wish um, and also then with the vari other varieties of blackstone so using some blackstone bricks some cracked blackstone bricks and then some polished blackstone as well and so just go in and add as much or as little texture all the way around the build as you wish once you've added some texture you'll have something that looks a bit like this now we're gonna round this off a bit make sure that it's a little bit smoother using some walls slabs and some uh, some stairs and first of all how we're going to do this is we're going to come down here and again depending on which blocks you've used uh, make sure that you just put something in place here and here so we've got a stair and I'll show you one side and then you repeat this on the other side um, and then you have a stair here in the middle and then you just round that off with two further stairs so that again has already made it look a bit smoother and then using some walls we come up three blocks here here and here so again just mix those up with with new blocks for the next floor up we do a very similar thing where we knock out the corners on this front section and we add in some stairs there and again we have exactly the same pattern where we just round out the blocks here so you've got a stair going in a stair going in and then three stairs going round then again with the walls coming up in these but obviously there's only two sets of blocks you come up three high but you can mix in obviously the uh, different textures as you want and then complete that all the way round the rest of the build on the top floor what we're going to do is firstly we're going to knock out this block and we're going to place a wall there 
then we're going to place three walls above um, just again mix them up to whatever you want and then we're going to have another wall here and here um, just like so so there's one gap in between and also three walls here so we're going to have one two three along the side so we've got that and then we just carry that on around the other sides so we've got the three walls up here and i'll text you these in a second and one wall down here and just carry that all the way around coming around to the doorway we're actually just going to place a block in here and then above that we're going to be placing a birch stair upside down and then a right way up one and a right way up one here with another stair on top so we get this kind of a peak and then underneath that we're going to place a warped door inside to get into the into the building then we're going to place on each side two of the birch trap doors and close those up and then i'll show you how to do the window these windows are the same for every window on every floor so just do this so first of all what you need to do is place a birch trap door so it's just above the bottom here then again coming around to the side we place one two and three get rid of the bottom one because those are going to be closed and what we're doing is creating a window box so what we do again shift click on top of them get rid of the bottom one and we've created that window box and then here we've got an upside down stair and two right way upstairs and as I say that's exactly the same for each and every one of the windows just finish off with some grey stained glass panes with those all done your windmill body will look like this and the final step that we have before we move on to the roof is to put some fence gates and these are birch fence gates on the base of the roof now where you've got this corner just go to either side and place them flat against this surface and make sure that they are all open like so the next stage of the build is the dome now this is made using the quartz bricks so another new block from 1.16 so we're going to come up here and all the places that we have the birch uh, and this is going to come up to a total of four high all the way around with those four high walls in place we're going to come in and we're going to put a set of these blocks on the inside just like this and once we've done that we're going to go outside the build and we're just going to knock off each of these corners like so and then on this next level we are going to come in again one for the corners here and then build around with three and then a diagonal and then three on each of the sides and the last thing that we're going to do is again come in on all of these blocks now you can use temporary blocks on these if you'd like to um, but yeah for this the sake of this I'm just using four blocks and then you can come across and do three by three and just fill this whole space in right the way to the top when this is built up we're going to do what we did to the rest of the windmill and on the top here we're just going to knock some of the blocks out and add some texture using some of the normal quartz uh, the normal quartz blocks and some of the smooth quartz blocks as well uh, again just place those as and where you wish um, just yeah just to, to break up that single texture right the way through next we're going to use the quartz stairs and the smooth quartz stairs to round off the shape and we're going to do that by placing on each side two uh, stairs here on both sides one set of stairs here and again you can mix these up with the smooth quartz if you wish and then taking some of the slabs and going one slab here and then a three by three space of slabs on the top so just mix those up uh, in any way you see fit and then do that same pattern but round the other sides as well so now to put the propeller and the uh, the blades on for the windmill itself uh, we start by coming here one block up and coming out three blocks using spruce uh, using some spruce logs and putting a stone button on the end and then round the edge of this we just surround it with some oak trapdoors and do the same on the bottom 
then we come out to the back and where this would come through we knock this through we knock this through and actually we bring that spruce right the way out of this hole that we've just created if we can get back through it there we go uh, and bring out two blocks here and just fill this in because we don't need to get in anymore and then we put the oak trapdoors around this with the stone button on the end and lastly on this layer then this, this should be facing the, the front but you can have it facing any direction because the point of windmills was this entire top section did rotate in order to face the wind but yeah we're going to then knock this out on the side put in some grey stained glass an upside down stair a right way upstairs and then some spruce slabs either side of that with some fences around there and then do exactly the same on the other side now we've got the windmill blades themselves and these are quite long um, longer than most people actually put on their windmills when you look at the uh, reference pictures so we're going to start by coming down three fences then we come out one and down a further three Again, fences are a pain to place but and then we come out and down three out and down three out and down two this time to finish it off so that shows you the length of the blade that we're talking about next we go up to the top and we mirror that so we go up three and then we come across and then we go up the three again Two, three, across, one, two, three, across, one, two, three, across, and then one, two. And that should then be the same length. So what you've got is you've got one, two, three, four times that you move across. So one, two, three, four times that you move across, and you finish off with a two. The blades going out to the side are a little bit different. So what you do again, rather than starting with a fence, you actually start with a fence gate and then you need to shift click into that in order to place the first fence. But then apart from that, it's pretty similar. So you come out three down for the first time, two, three down for the second time, down for the third time, down for the last time. And rather than the last block, so you place one fence, you again, again, you finish that with a fence gate. And what we do is, again, we repeat this on the other side. So again, start with a fence gate, but this time we're coming up. Again, we need to shift click in. So one, two, three, first time up. One, two, three, second, one, two, three, third. fourth and final time and then we finish it with one fence and a fence gate and then when we look at this you'll see that they're all the same length and they've all got the same orientation and now we're going to fill these out the pattern again is slightly different for the the blades that go up and down as the ones that go side to side so first of all I'll show you what goes on with the up and down ones so you leave that first fence and then you come out two more and then you come out two more all the way down so actually you this one keeps stays as three so this all the way along will then be three fences wide and each time that you move out there then that's the transition to the next layer. And once that's done and right down to the end, then what we do is finish this off with three andesite walls. So those then connect up. And that gives us the basis for it. And we do the same going upwards but moving out this direction. So start here and come out three and then continue. So we've got three wide. So that's now done, but just a quick adjustment. Actually it is when you've got these transition ones, it comes out four 
and that just gives the the right shape so just add a fourth one for each of those and again here where we've got this transition we just add a fourth at one so it's three wide normally and then four wide when you've got these transitions here um, with the angle because of the difference in the way that fences look depending on which direction you place them then for these two sides it's a slightly different pattern so what we have is a two a standard and then we go to a three whenever we have the extra transition so it's actually narrower but when you look at the finished result it looks the same and that's just due to the nature of how fences are so we just come across the three and come down and again here we finish this off with the fence gate and this is why we've had the fence gate so that we can actually put the andesite on there because the fences won't connect to a wall and that finishes it off and then we do the same but going upwards on here so now the final stage on these uh, on these blades is to add some trapdoors you can pick any trapdoor that you want so for example you could choose the warped ones if you wanted a bit of color personally my favorite is um, for the authentic look to use the oak trapdoors and you place two trapdoors on this then you place three trapdoors on the next level and then another three and that's it so you stop with eight trapdoors on each and then to show you on the sides uh, we go here and we have one two but then we have three one two three and three again and you just carry that on right the way around and that gives you uh, the finished look to the windmill itself now the finished exterior will look like this uh, I'm now going to go in and show you just how to do an authentic style mechanism going on the inside but if you wish you could just decorate this in any way you liked. So inside the windmill we come up to the top where this cross beam is and the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take some grindstones and we're going to then shift click them round and these basically would then uh, represent the, uh, the turning mechanism so uh, we will need to just head underneath here and back up so we can do that shift clicking again all the way around with these and yeah these would be like the wheels where the top of the windmill would rotate itself and then place the first one again underneath And that now what we need to do is make sure that we've got the center of this and if we just for a second come down here so level with the window uh, and come down and place some spruce logs we can get rid of the top one here and what we're gonna do dependent on whether we have it at the front or the back it doesn't matter too much um, we are gonna create a cog system which would be the thing that would actually uh, keep this running and what we do is we place a stair and then we come around and we place another stair so basically we're going around this and rotating the stair so this one then oh, needs to be an upside down stair and then the last one would be up oh, wrong way a stair like this so as you can see that that's rotating and then underneath these we come and we fill these in so that it looks like we've got a full cog in place and that's just the stairs going back so as you can see we've now got a big cog mechanism here and what we're going to do now is we can carry this on because it's going to go all the way down in a second but coming out the top of this uh, we would then have some andesite walls which would then in theory interact with the cog so as this cog turned by the wind that would then push this around uh, and you can top that off with an andesite wall if you wish um, or you can use a slab uh, which I think I will just grab very quickly uh, and andesite and here we go we us use a polished slab just to finish that off uh, just so the two don't connect up and yeah so this would then rotate and would rotate this and we're going to bring this all the way down through the build 
now that we've brought this uh, this big log right the way through and this is the spruce wood then we're going to create the grindstone at the bottom so first thing to do is to get some oak trapdoors and bring those round and next thing we're going to do is get some stairs and we're going to place the stairs going right the way around this and this is the grindstone that would um, sit at the bottom of a windmill you'd put your wheat in in there and then that would actually grind it as the windmill turned and that's what these things were for to provide the power so that they could they could do that so yeah you'd put your wheat in the top it would get ground up as this thing rotated and then your wheat would come out of a chute coming down to the side so yeah that's an authentic now um mechanism inside uh, i am going to decorate the rest of this windmill just to show you what you could do um, but i'm not going to show that uh, but yeah I'll, I'll then come back to you once it's all done now the windmill's finished i've done a little bit of decorating around the edge um, as you can see this is uh, this windmill's now actually in the same world as my uh, survival base my uh, ultimate survival base so if you haven't already checked that out do check that out now there is a, v a card in the uh, the video um, but yeah now I will show you a quick look around the actual windmill itself and what I've done with the interior so as we come down here then we come inside and as we saw before we've got the grindstone but now we've got obviously a way for all of the grain to come out lots and lots of this uh, this wheat there to put into it to get the grain an extra grindstone for any bits that weren't ground up properly and then we come up here we've got some furnaces so we can start cooking up some bread and some storage around here onto the balcony um, and lovely views out from this balcony that goes around and as we head back inside again, then uh, yeah, we've got more storage, some more grain, and then up to a little sleeping and storage area up here. So a bed for the person who's running the, the windmill itself. And then finally up we go here to a final level of storage. And then if we go through here, we can see to get to the mechanism of the build itself, just in case any anything were to go wrong with our windmill then we need to be able to get up here so we can fix this um, but yeah this is uh, just a bit of an idea of what you could do with the interior of this um, there is actually quite a bit of room inside this windmill structure so it would make a fantastic base uh, but i hope you've enjoyed the video um, i will just uh, take us back outside yeah i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have please do make sure that you leave a like um, you do leave a, uh, a comment to let me know if you've enjoyed it. That'd be fantastic and it really does help the channel. And also, uh, please do above all, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel to make sure you don't miss out on any more tutorials or videos in the future. So with all of that being said, thank you very, very much for watching. And I will see you next time on AD Craft. <laughs>